It's been 6 months since I compared most of the ChatGPT models to find out which is the best for coding Pinescript strategies. Since then the so-called AI revolution took a turn and many companies released their own advanced AI models or chatbots. So I decided to make a new comparison video in which I will cover ChatGPT, Grok, Gemini, DeepSeek and Claude to find out which is the best for coding TradingView Pinescript strategy scripts. I came up with a basic strategy idea and I will use two base prompts with all of the different AI chatbots to code this strategy. And the best part, I will give you the final codes generated by each model for free. So if you are interested in that, make sure to watch the full video, drop a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Without wasting any time, let's get right into it. First let's go over the strategy I want to code. So this is how the base script will look like, I think this is from ChatGPT 3 mini high. It has the Fisher settings, the ATR stop loss take profit settings, the trade direction limiter, the EMA filter and the TDFI filter. As usual you will find the Google Drive link down in the description where you can get access to these scripts. So let's set the indicators one by one. So first Fisher transform add this one by HPotter then type in TDFI click on this one then EMA, add the moving average exponential and or stop loss and take profit will be the NNFX ATR. Click on this one. Okay, these are all the indicators we will need. This time I did not optimize the strategy. This was just an AI competition. But if you would like me to improve the strategy and optimize it at the end, let me know in the comment section so I know what you guys would like to see. And the entry rules are as follows. Let's find a long example. Okay, here's a long entry. This is the entry signal. Okay, so for a valid long entry, we need to see a cross up on the Fisher transform that occurs under the negative zero one line. And that is the case here, but you can set up any level you want inside the strategy script. On the TDFI, I don't have a strict rule now. I use a 0.01 .01 level for longs and negative 0.01 .01 for shorts. If the TDFI is above the 0.01, .01, long entries are allowed. And if the TDFI is below the negative 0.01, .01, short entries are allowed. In this case, the TDFI was higher than that level. So it's still a valid long entry. And finally, the price should close above the EMA, which you can see here. I set it now to a 50 length EMA. Okay, entry here. Stop loss at the red NNFX ATR line and the take profit at the upper NNFX ATR line. Oh, I forgot to mention the ATR settings. So I am using a 4 times ATR for the take profit and the 2 times ATR for the stop loss with a 14 length ATR. And I just modified a bit the styling as usual. Okay, and in this case, this trade was a winner. Let's find the short entry. Where is a short? Okay, here is a short. So for a very short, the price needs to close under the EMA. The TDFI needs to be red, which means that it is under the negative 0.01 .01 line. And we need to see a cross down on the Fisher transform that occurs above a set level, in this case above 1. If I zoom in, you can see that the cross down occurred because the red line got above the green line. So that is a short entry here or at the open of the next candle. Stop loss at the red upper NNFX ATR line and the take profit to the lower blue NNFX ATR line. And it was a losing trade, but don't worry about that. This is not an optimized strategy. Okay, now let's see how each AI chatbot performs. Okay, now if you want to get access to this script, just go down into the description. You will find there the usual Google Drive link. Click on it, I've included there the results of all the AI chatbots, so you can compare them and find out which one you like the most. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, so which AI chatbot is the best for coding Pinescript strategies? To find it out, I will test these chatbots. A quick note, I use GPT-03 mini high, which is currently the best model for coding with ChatGPT, but that is a paid version. As you know, I am only using ChatGPT for coding all my strategies for this channel. So that will be the baseline. If I would decide to switch to any other AI model, they have to beat or at least come close to GPT-03 mini high. Also, most of these other chatbots are the most up-to-date versions of their own. 
So I think this competition should be fair. But how will I compare them? I will do that in two phases. I will try to code a complete strategy script from scratch. All AI chatbots will get the same two prompts, a phase one prompt where we code the first part of a strategy, the basics, and a phase two prompt when we add a few other filters. Whichever chatbot creates the correct code first will be the best one. Okay, so this will be our phase one prompt. And it reads as follows. Please write a trading view strategy script in PineScript version 5 that implements the following logic. Entry rules, Fisher transform only. Long entry, trigger a long position when the Fisher transform indicator, calculated over a settable length, crosses upwards while its value is still below a set threshold, for example, negative one. Short entry, trigger a short position when the Fisher transform crosses downwards while its value is still above a set threshold, for example, one. Using this entry rule, we basically enter into a long position when the market is oversold and enter short when the market is overbought. Exit rules, ATR based, for each trade set a stop loss and a take profit based on the average true range. Use configurable multipliers, for example, for a long trade, stop loss equals entry price minus ATR multiplier, take profit entry price plus ATR multiplier, and vice versa. Include all the settings in the inputs tab in a well-structured, clear to understand manner, and here I attached all the indicators needed. So when I code a strategy, I usually have a first sentence like you are a pro Pineskip coder with 20 years experience, you never make mistakes, you don't make the usual mistakes like line without continuation, and so on and so on. This time I did not use that, I wanted to test it out if a basic prompt like this can work. So now let's see the results of the phase one. I will include a few screenshots when necessary, but basically I created a spreadsheet to compare all the different AI chatbots. Okay, this is the phase one. Here I have a few aspects I wanted to rate each chatbot based on. The most important is the number of tries it took to get the correct code, the input step design, understanding what I want. So if a chatbot understands exactly what the entry and exit rules should be, unwanted additions, Sometimes a chatbot can include extra functions that you did not ask for, and I don't really like that. Here I put some final notes, my experiences with each chatbot, and at the end the summary where we decide if either chatbot proceeds to the phase 2 or not. So first, GPT-03 Mini High, my go-to AI chatbot, it took two tries to get the correct script, which is perfect. The input step design was great. It almost perfectly understood what I wanted. I had a slight problem here. It thought that the entry should be when the Fisher transform line crosses above the negative zero line, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to enter into a long when the Fisher prints a crossover to the upside and the crossover occurs under the negative one line. Were there any unwanted additions? Well, yes, there was an unwanted addition. I think it was the long or short limiter. And that's because I added it an example script to use for the ATR based stop loss and take profit. And that script included a long only, short only, or both trade direction limiter. So a few notes I already mentioned, it did not understand fully what I wanted and added the trade direction limiter. But overall, it coded the script correctly and it can proceed to the phase two. With clause 3.7, it also took only two tries, which is perfect. The input step design was also great and it instantly understood what I wanted, which is perfect. But we had two unwanted additions. It added the direction and the backtest date range limiter. I did not ask for either of these, but it's not a big deal. We can remove it later, and these are good features to have. So in conclusion, it proceeds. Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking. So this is an experimental version of Gemini 2.0, and it failed. So it took around six tries before I gave up, it was not able to generate a script without errors. So in summary, it can proceed. On the other hand, Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is not the experimental version, took two tries and coded the script perfectly. The input step design was great, it understood what I wanted perfectly, but again there were two unwanted additions. Conclusion, it proceeds. Now DeepSeek Air 1, so this is the open source Chinese model, it took 10 plus tries to get the script correctly, and I almost gave up on it. However, at the end, the input step design was good, but for understanding what I want, I have to give it a bad rating, because it took me 10 plus tries. There were no unwanted additions, which is good. And some notes, my experience is, this model thinks extremely long, it can think for multiple minutes, it introduced a one candle repainting, which was really hard to solve, 
and it seemed like it just can't get the correct candle entry. But at the end, it can proceed. And what about Grok 3? It took 6 tries, which is a bit high, but at the end the script was great, the input step design was great, it almost perfectly understood what I wanted, there were 1 unwanted additions, and in the notes section I wrote repeated errors. Conclusion, proceed. So a few notes, I sent one of my previously coded scripts that had the ATR stop loss and take profit method to the AI chatbots. This gave a good basis for the chatbot on my preferred style and it also added extra functions I would have added later on. These functions are trade direction limiter and backtest data range limiter. Considering DeepSeek, it refuses to answer to you after a while, in this case you have to switch accounts. Considering Claude, it usually runs out of context limit and in this case you also have to start a new chat. Now let's move on. So this will be our phase 2 prompt. Continue the great quality work. Now add an EMA based trend filter and TDFI filter. Long entries are allowed only above the EMA, short entries are allowed only below the EMA. Long entries are only allowed if the TDFI is above its preset long entry threshold, and short entries are only allowed if the TDFI is below the TDFI based short entry threshold. And at the bottom I paste the source codes for the EMA and the TDFI. This is what I usually do if an AI chatbot generated good quality scripts. I tell him that it was a great work and it should continue this quality work. This quality of work. Now let's see the spreadsheet. Okay, starting with again GPT-03 mini high, my go to AI chatbot. It took 4 tries to get the correct code, which is not too much. The input step design was great. It understood what I wanted, there were no unwanted additions. But it made the usual line without continuation error. So, if you've been coding with AI chatbots, especially with ChatGPT, you will notice that it usually runs into this error, line without continuation. Now, when I did not know how to solve this, it took me 10-15 tries to get it right, but now I found one prompt to be working pretty well, and that is, you copy the error code, the line without continuation error, paste it to ChatGPT, then tell him to solve this problem, write that section in one line. And 9 out of 10 times, that solves the problem instantly. So in summary, GPT-03 mini proceeds. Now what about Claude 3.7? It took 10 plus tries, which is a lot. Although it generated the code at the end, the input step design was great. It had some trouble understanding what I wanted. I had to switch to new chats. It couldn't get the TDFI rule right. And the limit was reached, but again I was using a free version. Although it can proceed. Gemini failed the first round, so we don't have to talk about that. But Gemini 2.0 Flash took 7 messages to get the code right. The input step design was great. It also had troubles understanding what I wanted. And in the notes section I wrote, coding the TDFI was difficult. So both of these models had problems with coding the TDFI. Probably because that is a version 3 script, I think. What about DeepSeek? So this was surprising. DeepSeek only had to take one try and it instantly generated the correct code. The input step design was great, it understood what I wanted. So overall, a perfect code on first try. It proceeds. And the same is the case with Grok 3, only one try needed. The input step design was great, it understood what I wanted, and perfect code on first try. So a few notes. If a chatbot seems to be stuck at a certain point in the coding process, starting a new chat usually solves the problem. I experienced this with a DeepSeek while coding the TDFI filter. And this is what I mentioned earlier, if you run into the usual line without continuation error, just type to solve this problem, write the section in one line to the chatbot that usually fixes the issue. So altogether, here is the summary spreadsheet. The lower the values here, the better the chatbot performed. Three chatbots got the same number of points, ChatGPT 03 Mini High got 4, Gemini 2.0 Flash got 4, and Grok 3 got 4. So considering that, these chatbots got first placement based on points. The second placement goes to Cloth 3.7 and DeepSeek R1, because they also got the same points, 5, and Gemini 2.0 just failed. Although I have to mention my personal experience, my personal ranking, and I would still put the GPT-03 Mini High to the first place, because it's reliable, always have new models, its speed is great, and I just like it overall. I would give the second place to Gemini 2.0 Flash and to Grok 3, I couldn't decide between them which is better. I would give the third place to Deep Sea Car 1. It could be at second place if the context window would be longer and it won't say that the server is busy, try again later. And again Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking failed. 
Here you can read more about my conclusions. So I think if you are a regular PineScript coder, you should purchase a 20 USD monthly subscription. You will get access to the latest AI models and your context window is bigger. This is not a sponsorship though. For now, I would recommend ChatGPT, Gemini or Grok. With ChatGPT, I was able to write 300 to 600 lines of code, which is not bad. And for now, I wouldn't recommend DeepSeek and Cloth 3.7, but they also have potential. Now, it's important to mention that the art of prompting or the science of prompting is very important for getting high quality output. So I recommend you to watch a few videos, read some articles on this topic. It will really help your work with AI. Also, it's a general experience that if a chat seems to be stuck at a particular error or can solve a problem, starting a new chat and continuing from where you left off usually works well. Again, the line without continuation error, this is the solution for that. And if you have a few complete strategy scripts, use them as a base when creating new ones. For example, I often use the ATR based stop loss and take profit in my strategies. So I just send one of my previous scripts to ChatGPT and ask it to use the same stop loss and take profit methods for the new strategy script I am working on. And that's it. So I have a question. Would you like me to continue this competition? As you might have noticed, there is no clear winner at this point, at least. So if you would like me to continue this, drop a like, leave a comment, you can leave some recommendations and ideas, and a few weeks later I can come up with a part 2. And that wraps up today's video. If you like this one, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, it really helps out the channel. If you want to support my work so I can keep bringing you free strategy scripts just like these, visit my Patreon and become a member or a smart trader for extra content. You can also check out my Patreon shop for more complex strategy scripts, private coding or private optimization. If you want to learn how to code PineScript strategies with ChatGPT, check out this video. Or if you want to see another strategy that generated mind-blowingly good results, check out this video. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day, and until next time, trade smart.